Hey, it's the Empire, Geo Boxing Empire, back to more boxing. Now, Luis Ortiz, um, he witnessed the Klitschko versus Anthony Joshua fight, and um, I guess he wasn't too impressed with Anthony Joshua because Ortiz said, I'll stop Joshua in six. Klitschko let him off the hook. So apparently, Luis Ortiz thinks he can stop him. Now, Luis Ortiz is a WBA mandatory, and he's supposed to be fighting uh, Anthony Joshua. He's supposed to be his mandatory for this next his next fight, but apparently the WBA mandatory challenger was supposed to be the next in line to face Joshua. But early this week, the WBA president uh, Gilberto J Mendoza said that he might give Joshua Klitschko a winner a special permit to make a voluntary defense before facing a mandatory challenger Ortiz. So basically, the WBA said, "You know what? If you want to fight a voluntary anyone, we'll let that happen." And that's that's pretty messed up, man. You know, like fuck, dude. Enforce your mandatory. Why you gonna let him fight voluntary? Like shit. I mean, I mean, Klitschko. That that was that was a good. Don't get me wrong. That was a great fight and everything. But that wasn't. That was like a voluntary defense. He didn't have to take that fight. You know what I mean? I want to see this. Ortiz has been a mandatory for a while. You know. So I'm pretty disappointed in the ABA, but but I'm gonna get into some more quotes right now. I'm gonna read a, a quote that. <laughs> That uh, Luis Ortiz said directed uh, toward Eddie Hearn. It was pretty funny. Look, it's simple. Eddie will protect this cash cow. You heard it yourself. How Joshua didn't mention my name knowing I'm next for him. But he called out Tyson Fury after the fight. I saw weaknesses. I saw a fighter that can be dropped with one punch. I even said he got lucky they stopped the fight. Because he wasn't even landing a punch when he got stopped. If they wouldn't have stopped it, he would have gassed out again. Plain and simple. Damn. So that's what Ortiz had to say. He basically said, man, they gave you that fight, man. He was he was done. He was out on your feet. That's that's what he said. Luis Ortiz got bold with that statement. You know what? Luis Ortiz even called him boy in his uh he called Anthony Joshua a boy in his next statement. I'm gonna read. I congratulate the young man for courage, but I'm next. And that is that. Look, my team let the fight happen because the ABA and Eddie Hearn asked us for a favor and because Klitschko didn't want to fight me. But I'm done being pushed back. It's my time. I want the ABA so I want the WBA belt. So yeah, I'm calling Joshua out. If he likes, he can just give up the belt. But if not, then October or November sounds good to me. It's your move, boy. Call him boy. It's your move, boy. To be the best, you have to fight the best. Ortiz told BoxingScene.com. My God, I mean Jesus Christ. I mean he went all all out on or on uh, Joshua. He called he called that Klitschko for not wanting to fight him, and then he called that AJ and called him a boy. It said fight me. If you want to be the best, you got to fight the best. Man, Ortiz is not playing no more. You know what I mean? Ortiz is getting up in age too, so he needs to take these fights now. And if this isn't the biggest fight to take now, like, I mean, this wasn't the time to take the fight. This is the perfect time to take the fight for Luis Ortiz. You know, Anthony Joshua's stock only went up. He's, his name is worth a lot more now, you know. So he said he wants his belt in October and November, but the WBA president let uh, Anthony Joshua take a voluntary defense, so I doubt that would happen. If anything, he had to wait till like early next year. I'm guessing Anthony Joshua might probably only fight two times this year because it's already May. It's already the middle of the year. So he might fight. Anthony Joshua might try to fight some voluntary, whoever it is, or defend his IBF mandatory, whatever. And then Ortiz might have to wait a year. But that was crazy, though, man. Luis Ortiz called him out, called him a boy, said Eddie Hearn, you know, protecting you. Said you guys are paying me stuff for side money. Said Klitschko was scared of me. Said I wasn't impressed. I can stop you. You've been dropped in one punch. That was pretty crazy, man. Uh, Ortiz said a lot in this one article. So let me know how you guys feel. Like, comment, subscribe. This is the Empire. Geo Boxing Empire. Peace.